We have such a wide variety of natural resources in Alaska. We have the gold, we have the copper, we have molybdenum. What I'm talking about when I say valuable resources, the salmon, the fisheries, the way of life they have in Alaska, the pristine, incredible environment. Until somebody's been there, you have no idea what we'll destroy if we allow mining to occur. The Pebble Deposit is a 10 billion ton deposit. That's huge. So we have all these different resources, and no one resource is more important than the other. Copper is highly toxic to aquatic species. It's one of the most toxic elements that there is. Salmon and copper just don't mix. One would never trade a mine for fish. I mean, if, if you had to make the trade, you'd keep the fish. The, the issue is, can you do both? The money that will come to the state of Alaska in taxes and royalties and employment benefits will be huge. So you're talking about four to 500 jobs in an area where jobs don't exist. It's not just the native community it's going to have an impact on. It's going to have an impact on the commercial fishing industry as well as the sports fishing industry. Although they say that they're going to have jobs, their jobs are only for 50 to 80 years, whereas the salmon will come back forever. We don't want jobs that are going to destroy the area we come from and destroy the values on which we were raised. Less than 1% is the target mineral, the valuable copper and gold that gets shipped off for further processing. The rest, for mines that have high risk characteristics like pebble, 93% of those mines resulted in water pollution. There will be problems. There's never been a successful gold mine that failed to pollute the environment around it. We can't see that there's any benefit to the people of Alaska to take such an incredible environmental risk. The United States needs the resource. If the United States doesn't have gold and copper, we cease to function. There are huge mines in New Mexico, Utah, Montana that still have huge amounts of resources. So we need to look at mining every pound of copper or gold out of those mines before we go look at something like Pebble, where we have a pristine environment and a uh, very rare and, and valuable resource. How are you going to maintain toxic waste forever in this salmon producing region and keep it from getting into the waters? And what will it do to the most productive salmon systems in the world? They said, it's less than 1% of the Bristol Bay fisheries if we ruin the Nushigak or the Quijak watershed. To them, it's only less than 1%. To me, who live on the Quijak, who depend on the salmon in return every year, that's 100% of my lifestyle. Salmon is who we are. How can they replace those stocks that are one of a kind in each of these different streams? The necessity is to keep this last spawning ground of the wild salmon pristine, and available for our children, grandchildren, and generations to come. They cannot replace the salmon. In Bristol Bay, 69% of the people don't want the mine, and yet they still continue to hang around. If we think we have a project that works, we ought to have the right to take it forward. If the companies can do this in like Chile, uh, you know, I think they can do it in Alaska. Regardless of what you do, you'll still have a big hole in our backyard. Everything we stand for is at risk. We can't let that happen here in Alaska, because there are no more wild places. This is it.